Yo, what is up guys? Today we're talking about Destiny 2. Now specifically, we're going to be looking at the Gambit weapons that are coming back for this season, Season of the Arrivals. And if you guys don't know, these weapons are actually labeled as Season of the Arrival weapons, as in these are staying for a whole year. So I highly suggest you scoop these up before the season ends, because some of these weapons are really good with like one of them being like my absolute favorite weapon right now, and one of them being kind of garbage, in my opinion. So... Let's talk about the first weapon, which is Nine Hunger. This one is an assault rifle, a void assault rifle, and I actually like it a lot. It's one of my favorite assault rifles. And let's look at the first perk real quick. Tap the trigger, Zen moment, subsistence, field prep, auto loading holster. And for the last row, it's gonna be demolitionist, rampage, multi-kill clip, kill clip, and swashbuckler. So the role that I have is subsistence with swashbuckler, which is an amazing role subsistence really goes well with either swashbuckler or rampage not so much kill clip or multi kill clip only because subsistence ammo economy is pretty bad so if you do end up getting a subsistence with rampage or swashbuckler highly suggest you put that on like i have i have that role on my titan specifically because my titan punches a lot more than any other class so i'm always proccing swashbuckler which means that I'm using less ammo to kill stuff, which means I'm getting more bang for my buck with subsistence. And that's the role I like with it. For PvE, you could probably do that one really good. For PvP, you could do that one as well. But also, tap the trigger is amazing. Field prep, amazing. I would say Zen Moment if you're on console. But honestly, for me, I would probably go tap the trigger and multi kill clip kill clip any of the damage ones really to be quite honest uh, demolitionist is really good if you want to keep your grenade up but that's pretty much it honestly the, this one's really great the perks are really good i the only thing is i don't know if we can gain the curated role for this gun i really want to know if we can because a curated role drops with overflow and rampage which would be filthy i would love this i would absolutely love this role so if you guys know if it drops let me know in the comments below it would be amazing if they do considering that some some of the curated roles for some of these weapons are like fucking donkey dick insane so the next weapon we're going to be looking at is night watch night watch is another one of my favorite weapons it's fucking disgusting if you get good rolls on it so the first role we're going to be looking at is outlaw rapid hit subsistence snapshot sites and threat detector for the first row for the second row it's going to be explosive payload rampage multi-kill clip moving target and demolitionist so real quick i think the the god role like the absolute god role would probably be like rapid hit and multi-kill clip for PV, pve for pvp it'd probably most likely be outlaw with multi-kill clip rampage moving target to some extent and maybe explosive payload uh, you could do a lot of things it all depends on your playstyle. obviously like if you are just in the back picking people out you can do multi-kill clip for that additional like dps boost that you get from just like one or two kills or three god forbid uh rampage is good but i that's more of a pve perk for in my opinion explosive payload would be great uh you know the flinch is going to be fucking wild for the person who actually gets hit by it. Me, personally, I would most likely be looking for rapid hit and multi-kill clip only because that just seems like the god roll for me. Unfortunately, they did end up nerfing uh, rapid hit, so it's not as good as it used to be, but, I mean, it's still better than most. I still love it. It still gives you stability and reload speed, so there is that, but... Me personally, probably outlaw and multi kill clip outlaw and maybe rampage. Or I mean, yeah, rampage is good too. Like I said, I for me personally, I would probably go for like outlaw and explosive payload or outlaw and uh, multi kill clip. I like rapid hit. Don't get me wrong. I have I have one from the season of the drifter that's rapid hit and multi kill clip. It's just that with the nerf that it got, I. Outlaw is just much better, in my opinion. Like, hands down. Real quick, before I move on to the next weapon, Nightwatch, the curator role drops with Overflow and Explosive Payload. Again, if you guys know if the 
curated roles drop let me know in the comments below i would love to have some of these curated roles especially overflow with explosive payload on a on a scout rifle is kind of gross especially if you're just in the back just shooting people Ugh. so next weapon we're gonna be looking at is or is it lonesome this is one of my favorite guns in the game right now i actually have the curated roll on my titan which is over overflow and swashbuckler it's amazing dude this this is amazing i really hope you were able to get the curated rolls because if we do i'm farming this until i get this because this is one of my favorite guns in the game not even joking now before i start talking about like if there's no curated roll what would be my second favorite let's talk about the perks so first it's gonna be fully auto trigger system zen moment outlaw rapid hit grave robber for the first row for the second row it's gonna be demolitionist kill clip swashbuckler multi-kill clip opening shot and slide shot so tony what would be your god roll if the curated roll was not here i'd most likely say fully auto trigger system with a swashbuckler for my titan anyone else probably fully auto trigger system with multi-kill clip you could do rapid hit with multi-kill clip outlaw with multi-kill clip uh grave robber too as well actually i probably i would probably do grave robber and swashbuckler maybe mm maybe this is one of my favorite sidearms this is like one of the best sidearms in the game hands down you can never change my mind on that it especially the curated role the curated role is like one of my favorite sidearms so if you're asking me pvp wise obviously if you punch a lot or you're just a tight end it's gonna be swashbuckler all the way swashbuckler with fully auto trigger system would probably be the best one just because i don't like to like manually click so for me it was just click and just forget about it but i would probably weigh the options of like maybe outlaw or rapid hit or grave robber or if you're again on controller zen moment you know stuff like that for pve you could probably be a little bit more chill and maybe do fully auto trigger system with any of the damage perks obviously or demolitionist there's a lot of things you can do with this sidearm, obviously, and that's what that's the, another reason why I love this sidearm. There's just so many combinations you can do. So this is actually one of my favorite sidearms, like I keep saying, but this is actually the best one in the list right now. So we're going to go to the worst one in right now, in my opinion, which is Bad Omens. If you guys don't know what Bad Omens is, it's a rocket launcher. And if you guys know Destiny, then you know that rocket launchers are just garbage. They're really garbage in PvP and PvE. It's funny too because I I made a video about the Cosmodrome coming back and from Destiny 1 and I ended up using what was it? I I ended up using Gallahorn and just the sheer fact that like that gun had two rocket launchers in made it so much more easier, so much more fun. Because I don't have to like manually shoot one at a time. Not only that, but it's just rocket launchers just suck so let's look at the love the perk list tracking module auto loading holster snapshot sites and field prep for the first one for the second one it's gonna be cluster bomb genesis kill clip and quick draw so real quick obviously the god roll for a lot of people would probably be like tracking module and cluster bomb uh you could do auto loading holster with track with cluster bombs as well you could do snapshot sites with quick draw for like pvp i think that would be a pretty interesting one considering you can take it out aim and then just shoot within like half the time or not even like just that would be a nutty roll but i have that role actually no i don't the role i have is i think what is it tracking module module and quick draw which is fine like i said it's a it's a rocket launcher like there's just like okay you exist cool if rocket launchers got a big boost and i mean like some of them have two to three rockets in the magazine or like damage bonus or just a damage buff anything then i'd be okay with it i'd be i will say you might as well farm this get the tracking module and cluster bomb roll get a pvp role whatever role you want just get it just in case you know it do, it becomes good because you might never know they might make a buff where it's like yeah rocket launchers do 50 percent more damage or 100 percent more damage some dumb shit like that so 
that's pretty much it if you guys want to know my honest opinion obviously lonesome is the best weapon in the list right now go get that if you're not a sidearm enthusiast then nine hunger is great night watch is also great as well there's a lot of things you can do in this list and yeah let me know what you guys think in the comments below i am I have my hands full with a bunch of just stuff that I want to do, like videos and whatnot. So expect more content. If you guys want to follow me on my social media outlets, links are in the description below. Thank you everyone for the constant support. I really do appreciate it. And other than that, I will see you guys later.